Another situation that might crop up is that there's clearly different amounts of variability in the groups and you know about this in advance. So supposing we knew that um, one of the groups was going to, well, perhaps that's the active group, date, the results were going to be variable as to how they responded to this active intervention and there was a greater amount of variability compared to the controls which varied less. So the formula is quite easy to adapt for that. If you remember before, in this formula we just had one sigma squared. We had the standard deviations, overall standard deviation squared, and there was a 2 at the front of the formula. Now, instead of using that 2 and the, s the overall standard deviation, we just sum up the, two, the squares of the two different standard deviations. So, very similar formula. If we put that into the calculation for the chlorum study, we get that the number of mice per group is 10.79, so that's what we get, and we would round that up to be 11. So there's a bit of a penalty to pay for the fact the variability is different in the two groups, and we'd need 11 mice per group. And it's quite nice to be able to take that into account if you think your variability, if you're sure your variability is going to be different between the groups.